What is going on, Creative Beast enthusiasts? Today, we're diving deep into the life and legacy of the Gorgosaurus Libratus. Join us, the Creative Beast team, as we explore this awesome creature's size, diet, deadly abilities, and where this prehistoric predator once ruled. The Blue T-Rex. It's not a T-Rex, but it is closely related to one. The Gorgosaurus was first discovered in Alberta, Canada in 1913 by paleontologist Charles H. Sternberg. And what a fitting name for this apex predator. Its fossils were commonly found in the Dinosaur Park formation, dating back to 76.6 to 75.1 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. A year after its discovery, Lawrence Lambie dubbed this new species Gorgosaurus labratus. The species name labratus comes from the Latin word librare, which means to balance. This is likely in reference to its agile form that's supported by its long tail for balance. Since the description of that first specimen, we have found so many Gorgosaurus that it has easily become the best represented Tyrannosaurid in the fossil record. We literally have dozens of specimens currently. Gorosaurus was a moderately large tyrannosaur. It reached lengths of 8 to 9 meters. That is 26 to 30 feet long. And it weighed an estimated 2 to 2.5 tons. And just like its cousin, the Tyrannosaurus rex, it had a powerful jaw and very sharp teeth. It also had very powerful hind limbs. However, Gorgosaurus was much lighter built. Thus, it was faster and probably more agile than the Tyrannosaurus rex. Now, while Gorgosaurus was more lightly built than Tyrannosaurus, it was still a robust and powerful predator. And what's so interesting about dinosaurs to me is the fact that we often compare dinosaurs to other dinosaurs, and while yes, Tyrannosaurus itself was substantially larger than Gorgosaurus, when you put Gorgosaurus next to any other animal that's alive today, it was an absolutely massive predator. And interesting note as well, it actually transitioned into its more robust adult form at an earlier age than Tyrannosaurus did. The Gorgosaurus Libratus thrived in what is now southern Alberta, and this region was rich in biodiversity, featuring floodplains, coniferous forests, and swamps. This created the perfect environment for a hunting animal or a carnivore, such as the Gorgo blue T-Rex here. These hunting grounds were so perfect, in fact, that they were also home to another large tyrannosaur, the fearsome Daspletosaurus. These two beasts would have definitely crossed paths. And while those two fighting their territorial disputes would certainly be earth-shaking, we do have evidence of intraspecific aggression with Gorgosaurus. Intraspecific meaning two animals of the same species interacting. As with other Tyrannosaurs that have been studied, some Gorgosaurus fossils have been found with bite marks on their face, from other Gorgosaurus, showing that they partook in face biting, which may have been a sort of form of ritualistic combat, for lack of a better word, between growing individuals. That sounds terrifying. Getting bit on the face and having all those scars, no fun. That brings us to the diet for these guys. And because Gorgosaurus was a large carnivore, it definitely preyed upon the Centrosaurus. Look how cool this guy is with those tongue. This wasn't the only dinosaur that the Gorgosaurus preyed upon. It used its king vision, this front facing eyes, to hunt these guys down and eat them. Maybe not like that, but or maybe, maybe like this. And evidence even suggests that this was an opportunist hunter. It probably hunted alone or even scavenged when needed. Now, while most carnivores will be opportunistic and take a free meal whenever they can get it, one of the dead giveaways that Gorgosaurus evolved to be an active hunter is the fact that it possessed binocular vision, which means it has forward-facing eyes like us humans. This would have allowed them to easily zero in and focus on their target. And unlike in the movies, these things would not have had movement-based vision. If they were looking your way, they could definitely see you, so I would start running.
The Gorgosaurus, like other Tyrannosaurs, went through drastic changes as it aged, especially in its weight and development. Just like our sub-adult Tyrannosaurus Rex here, the legs are much longer and the body is much slimmer. They had very long and powerful legs, making them very fast and agile. And another thing that was discovered is that their teeth regenerated all throughout their lives. So if they lost one hunting or eating, our new one would grow back in its place. This allowed these species to keep their teeth sharp consistently because that was their most dangerous weapon. And recent studies suggest that the Gorgosaur's bite strength was 42,000 newtons. That's more than enough force to crush bone. As you mentioned, Chris, Gorgosaurus went through many ontological changes as it aged. We're incredibly lucky to be able to study younger specimens of this genus, given how many individuals we found. One, for example, was a young Gorgo found in the Dinosaur Park formation in 2023 that still had its stomach full of oviraptorosaurs as its last meal. Just like mentioned before, the Gorgosaurus here is part of the Tyrannosaurid family, being very closely related to the Albertosaurus, which, just like its name suggests, is from Alberta, Canada as well. In fact, these two species are so similar, many paleontologists at one point thought that they were the same species. And even though these species, the Albertosaurus and the Gorgosaurus, were much smaller than Tyrannosaurus rex, they were just as deadly. The Gorgosaurus was very quick with its powerful hind legs, its long snout and sharp teeth made it a foe to be reckoned with, thus making it one of the top predators of its time. But just because you're one of the top predators does not mean you're invincible. Multiple specimens of Gorgosaurus show evidence of pathologies, or injuries, that they sustained throughout their lifetime. These include fractured ribs, fractured fibula, and of course the face-biting scars that we mentioned earlier. They might have been massive, powerful carnivores, but that does not mean they lived an easy life by any means. Our Gorgosaurus action figure is part of the Beast of the Mesozoic line. It features incredible articulation, scientifically accurate proportions, and stunning paintwork that captures the essence of the dinosaur perfectly. Whether you're a collector or a dinosaur enthusiast just like us, this figure is a must-have. As a massive dinosaur enthusiast myself, I love the Gorgosaurus and all of the figures from the Creative Beast lines. The bold blue coloration inspired by the North American racer snake is absolutely stunning. I love how most of Beast of the Mesozoic figures really go for striking, contrasty, bright colors that really make these animals stand out, but they still feel natural and inspired off of things that we are familiar with around us in nature today. One thing I also love about the figures and is displayed quite well on this Gorgosaurus is the presence of extremities like soft tissue and keratin, for example. This Gorgosaurus has a beautiful mouth seal with the articulated jaw and its lips. And yes, it is safer to assume that these animals had lips. It is actually more uncommon to find a modern day tetrapod that doesn't have lips. But yes, from the colors to the detailing to the articulation, these figures are fantastic and get my seal of approval. The Gorgosaurus was a sleek and agile predator that dominated prehistoric Canada. And now thanks to Creative Beast Studio, it can live again on your shelves. If y'all enjoyed learning about this prehistoric creature, hit that like and subscribe to our channel. And let us know which of these Tyrannosaurs was your favorite. And let us know which dinosaur or prehistoric animal you'd like us to cover next. From the prehistoric to the fantastic Creative Beast Studio!